I leave, I, you know, I leave the offense up to Coach McDonald, and I feel like he's uh, doing a good job of, of uh, figuring out what we need to do and the direction we need to go in. And, and um, you know, I feel like the direction we, we just went in in the second half and the end of the first half is you know, the right direction that we need to go in because uh, we were able to move the ball better and have uh, better offensive production. When you went back and looked at some of the plays on the field, you know, what stood out to you about maybe saying throws that you made? Yeah, I mean, you know, I just, I got to do a better job of um, eliminating quick, and if it's not there, not forcing it, and just making a play. I think there were times it's, uh, times when, um, you know, it wasn't there, and I, I'd scramble and try to make plays with my feet, and, you know, uh, good things happen. So, um, you know, there, there were a couple times there were bad decisions, and I got to do a better job at, at um, you know, fixing that. And, you know, start to practice. I don't want to. It's never really a loss to have Adrian out there, but you're pleased with the way that's in the game. Definitely, definitely. I mean, well, Chris Clark's the older guy. He's a senior. Chris Clark, I mean, he, he's, you know, it's kind of, uh, you think about Adrian and Chris Clark. Adrian's a bigger guy. He's like 6'3", and Chris Clark's kind of like a scat guy. And, uh, you know, to be able to throw to him and, and uh, okay, you know, the type of production that he brought to the offense was awesome. You know? And the other guys that stepped up, you know, Grizzly came in, and, and he, had, he caught some balls, and was a big part of the offense. So it was really good to see those guys step in. How challenging is it, Drew, to kind of learn how to go through your progressions there, given your, your limited field time you know, experience? Right? I mean, I've, I've been in college football for five years now, going on, and uh, just it's it's a it's a combination of, of learning the defense during the week, and, and, and I, I believe that I prepare myself as well as possible. But like you said, you're going out there and getting those reps and, and learning. You know, don't it's. I got to, it's visualizing one thing happening a certain way and then actually seeing what the defense gives you and then executing. And that's the thing um, that I got to do a better job consistently on a, you know, on a consistent basis because there were two or three times when I did throw those interceptions that that happened. A better way to ask it maybe would be you have no shortage of classroom time. So how valuable is it when you're on the field? Uh, because obviously you and your teammates have some stuff to work through. I mean, practice is key. I mean, you know, we had a great night day. And getting in and making sure that we watch a lot of film and learn from our mistakes and really learn about Wagner, you know. And I feel like, you know, that's that's a huge part of it. But then also going out there today was a hot day, so we got to push through it. And you know, there's going to be hot games, and you know, getting out there and being able to mentally focus and execute plays the way they need to be executed is. You know, it's tough and it's hot, but, you know, we got to do it. we got to train our bodies to do it. How much time do you have in the dome? You know, everybody's talking about how great it is to come home, but it's still be your first time. Oh, yeah, you know, um, I already looked at the weather for then, and, yeah, I heard when it's hot, it's hot. Um, but it's supposed to be nice weather. But, you know, in the, in the dome, I played in indoor stadiums a lot, so, uh, you know, I don't think it's going to be an issue. It's going to be fun. I can't wait to get in there. It's going to be loud. I heard. Obviously, because it's an MCS team, a lot of teams think that it just has to be a blowout win. But you know, aside from just a win, what maybe are some of the smaller goals that you have for yourself? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't really focus on goals myself. Obviously, I want to take care of the ball. Um, that is definitely a goal of mine, um, and a goal on the offense as well. You know, uh, so but I don't really focus on oh, it's supposed to be a blowout or oh, it's going to be a close game or anything like that. I just focus on what we can control as an offense because. You know, we got to do a better job, especially against Northwestern, of executing our offense because the defense, the side of the ball, will feed off of us and our momentum. You know, so the game could have been different if we scored on a couple drives. Uh, early in the game. Thanks. Well, I'd assume that you don't necessarily change your preparation based on the opponent. No, never, never. You can never sleep on an opponent. You can never change. You can never change. Never change what you do. Never change how you prepare. I mean, I, I think I've spent more time film room in the past three days or two days since the Northwestern game. Was it because we lost? Maybe. 